Barefoot shoes. My logic was that I would wear them, my feet would become stronger, healthier, just generally better. In turn, this would help with my sport and day-to-day -day comfort, and then woohoo, I'd jump on the barefoot train and bandwagon. This, my friends, is far-fetched optimism at best. Let me explain. All I kept hearing was that the shoes we wear every day were messing up our feet that the extreme cushioning and narrow toe boxes prevented our feet from moving how they were naturally meant to, and that the barefoot shoe was the solution to this. So, what did I do? I spent 365 days in the shoes, and well, I absolutely hated them. And here's why. The first thing to note is that the sole is extremely thin, with literally next to no cushioning, and none of this padding you're seeing on the modern day running shoe. The reason behind this is so that the wearer of the shoe can really feel the ground and work all those foot muscles. In theory, this is absolutely great, but in reality, this means far higher impact with every single stride that you're taking, in turn, drastically increasing the risk of impact-related injuries, like stress fractures, shin splints, plantar fasciitis, with your foot becoming overloaded and overstressed. This is where I struggled most. Within a month or so of wearing the shoe, literally for a few hours, three to four times a week, I felt a real stiffness and proper pain along my plantar fascia and in my toes, literally with every single step that I was taking. And really, I'd argue that it takes a good six months of absolute perfect programming of the shoe into workouts and your daily life to sort of come out of that danger zone, so to speak. Which leads perfectly onto risk versus reward. You've got to ask yourself, what do you actually gain from wearing a pair of shoes like this that you can't get from a great strength and conditioning program specifically designed for your feet? And my answer to this is not much. Just by putting in a few of these exercises, just two to three times a week, you're gonna see pretty much all the benefits with just far little risk of injury. And the transition period from sort of the modern everyday shoe to being barefoot is huge. It takes such a vast adjustment for those muscles and fibers in your feet to sort of be able to cope with the stress you're putting on them. And in all honesty, you're basically having to learn to walk again. And for me, for the everyday person, it's just not worth it. And if it's that nice wide toe spread that you wanna work on, then just pop in some toe spreaders when you're sitting down in the evening or sleeping. Trust me, that's gonna be adequate enough. But does this mean that there is absolutely no place for barefoot shoes in your daily life or workout routine? Absolutely not. I'm the first one to argue that yes, there are benefits to them, and yes, there's a time and a place to use them. But I think wearing them as a lifestyle trainer or for running is just a recipe for disaster or anything with high impact that you're gonna be using day in, day out. It's just totally stupid. Do you see any top tier runners in barefoot shoes? No, absolutely not. There's a reason cushioning was made to protect our feet, to cushion them, and to enable us to go longer, further distances without getting injured. Yes, many years ago, there were tribes and there still are people who run marathons in these shoes day in day out and are totally fine but for the everyday normal person you doing this and trying to adopt these sort of outdated methods is just ludicrous and stupid and in my opinion if you get injured it's on you now with all that being said there are actual benefits to this shoe if you do get it right and perfect ways to actually implement this within your daily lifestyle and workout routine so the foot itself has 52 bones over 100 muscles and 104 sensors, which means that it's actually extremely adaptable to the stress we put on it. If we don't overload our shoe too quickly, the makeup of our foot, the arches, the toes, our plantar fascia, our sole, it's all gonna become stronger, more compact, more powerful, which in turn has many benefits. But the key thing here is, how do we not overload the foot too quickly? Now for me, I would just use this shoe initially for gym type style of workouts, where you're not gonna be jumping, running, jogging, putting that high amount of stress and impact on the foot, which in turn is gonna to lead to a far higher chance of injury. Whereas only using the shoe to squat, deadlift, lunge, leg press, pretty much any conventional type of exercise in the gym, you're gonna find you're gonna have a solid platform to lift off, which acts as an anchor point, allowing you to execute that movement with far higher levels of efficiency, whereby actually having that padded sole you've got on a running shoe is, is far less efficient and actually increases the risk of injury. So not only is the shoe actually more practical to use in this situation, but you're gonna be strengthening your feet while doing this, therefore adapting all those bones, joints, ligaments, muscles to this type of movement. Then you can start to increase the amount of impact you're putting on your feet. But still, even though there are so many highlighted benefits to this, I believe in this everyday world now, people lack patience, and there are very few people that will actually go through this six month protocol to be able to actually wear this shoe on a daily basis. And that's why I would still argue that the cons far outweigh any benefits. And that's pretty much my summary and makeup of this shoe. It's great if you do it right. However, the chances of that happening are very slim. And I think because we are so adapt and acclimatized to this everyday padded shoe, just stick with it and don't try and change it and copy all these sort of people you see online 
adopting this barefoot style type of sort of workouts. I just think, yeah, the cons far outweigh the benefits. Now, if you've enjoyed this video, please hit that thumbs up, subscribe to the channel because that would be greatly appreciated. And I will see you all in the next one because there is so much more content coming your way. Cheers.